Come in. Dr. Hayes? Yes. I'm Brooke Logan. Oh, of course, from chemistry. Yes, I've been wanting to meet you. Same here. I've read your abstract from the IIA seminar. I was going to stop down to see you one of these days, but you know how it is. Yeah, I know. I've been swamped, too. Oh, incidentally, I wanted to thank you for running that stat on my patient last week. I needed the best, so I requested you. Don't worry, I won't make a habit of it. It was no problem. In fact, that's the reason I'm here. It just so happens that your patient is a friend of mine. Brooke, I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. I'm glad I found out. Is she a close friend? Caroline and I have become very close. Dr. Hayes, I am not asking you to talk about Caroline's condition. I realize you can't do that. Well, I don't have to. In your case, Brooke, you ran the test. You know her prognosis. And that's what I can't get out of my mind. She's trying to keep this a secret. I don't know how you feel about this, doctor, but I feel very strongly that Caroline's husband should be informed about her condition. I don't disagree with you, Brooke. In fact, I feel much the same way you do. And you told Caroline this? Many weeks ago, and I continue to tell her. But she has her own very strong convictions about disclosing this information to Rich. Her convictions are wrong, Doctor. Rich must be told. Now, either you or I have got to tell him. That's imperative. Brooke, you realize, of course, to tell Ridge of his wife's condition against her will would be a gross violation of ethics. Maybe your ethics, Doctor. But mine say a husband should be informed when his wife is dying. In most cases, yes. What makes this case any different? It's not uncommon for terminal patients to go through an initial period of denial. They can't accept what's happening to them, so they don't tell anyone. It's a very understandable reaction. It's not Caroline's reaction, however. Of course it is. No, Brooke. Caroline's refusal to tell her husband isn't based on denial. She's accepted that she's dying. It's a matter of how she wants to spend her remaining days. To tell Ridge would be to live them one way. Not to tell him would be another. She's chosen the latter, and we have to respect that. It's courageous. Your friend is doing this for positive reasons. Life affirming reasons. Caroline considers herself to be very fortunate. She's ending her life just the way she wants to. In the arms of her husband, enjoying their marriage, up until the last breath of her life. Most people don't get that choice, Brooke. Ridge is going to be destroyed by this. He has a right to know. I'm sorry. That's just the way I feel. Goodbye, Doctor. Thank you. 